WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, the 28th of April. One more day to go, and then we wrap up the April month candle while we're looking at the Dow up 73. At any point today, I could have said it was up 150 or 250. I could have said it was down 30. It's up 65 right now. That's the kind of days we've been having, little uh, micro, micro movements that have huge uh, on a percentage basis for the for the time we're looking at big moves but overall you can see this pattern it's really important the dow's up 70 and the high today was 32,523 it needs to get closer to the high by the end of the day to really improve the candle of the monthly chart it definitely mustn't take out the low which is at 33,248 now we're looking at the S&P so the S&P had a different slightly different chart formation it's just a fractionally better one looking at this particular point it's up 20 at 4204 it needs to get closer to the high of the day of 4242 oh that's a big one but it needs to get closer to the highs then definitely the lows looking at the QQQ and this is going to be very important you've got Apple you've got a still got a bunch of a very important um, uh, key, uh, key stocks within the uh, index, the index 100, to come out with earnings. We'll see what happens there. The next day, Amazon, I believe, is in, in it, and Amazon itself is looking. It had been very, very weak, but it has held the left side low of March, and that's a good sign. Maybe it does the same thing as, uh, um, as Microsoft and has a pretty decent bounce. So what we're looking at here is within the QQQ, uh, QQQs right now are up 2.41. They need to be up about 3.80 to 4.20 to say, hey, this is going to be a nice little bounce coming up. So far, not so. Uh, the IWM has been very weak, made a new low today. Uh, that's not very good action at 185. Uh, gold is holding okay. It is down, and no, it's, it's unchanged, it's down a half a point. But it's holding, it's getting closer and closer to the 200 period moving average. Um, and that could be at least a holding pattern that it gets to because if you look at the dollar, the dollar is extremely strong. It's up at 103.72, up 0.76. But in leg D, and it, it looks like it could be getting to, I'm going to draw this in, it could be getting to some kind of a digestive phase. So we'll see what happens here because that will impact gold. You're looking at crude oil. Crude oil is, oh, now it's up to at 104.26 in a range. And the TLT, which is really acting very poorly, uh, is down. So yields are going high. Hey, folks, you've got Larry Pizzavento coming up through wonderful shows as always here at TFNN. Stay tuned. I'll be back tomorrow. Check out my opening form on Daily Music. See you tomorrow.